before you, you can see the new Ubuntu 23.4. What are the changes? Let us start. At first, let's start with the new installer, which we can see in front of us. It is based on Flutter and uses the server installer, which was developed by Canonical some years ago. So the old installer Ubiquiti is now abandoned from Canonical, the developer of Ubuntu. So let us head first. We see many similarities to the old Ubuntu installer, so you don't have to expect too much changes, but you can see it's a bit more polished design and also it has a few more bugs in my test version, but I think to the Ubuntu version 24.4 all important bugs should be cleaned. For example, if you choose here, I don't want to connect to the internet just now, the installer won't connect you from the internet, what it is pretending here, and my wired connection keeps up also when I start the installation process. Here we can switch between normal and minimal installation. If you did a Ubuntu installation before, you see the similarities and it is almost the same user interface for it. And yeah, also the type of installation is very similar. Also the advanced features LVM are also inside. So nothing too exciting. I personally don't recommend manual partitioning in every case, especially if you are booting in BIOS or legacy mode, because then the manual partitioning won't work for GPT partitions. You can't create another BIOS boot partition where Grub will be installed. But yeah, that's okay. So I personally recommend you for the Ubuntu version 23.4 to use one of the automatic ones. So yeah, that's the new installer. Let us head over to the next new feature. I also have a prepared 23.4 version here. I am in the login screen and we can see a polished login screen with a bigger profile picture and adjusted spaces. It's nothing too exciting, but yeah, I wanted to show you. And here we are at Ubuntu 23. Dot for Lobster. Beside the new installer, Ubuntu is coming with the mini ISO. Again, here we see the daily build image. I put you the link in the video description. It is only 107 megabytes big, especially the experienced users of us, which are using Linux for some years, will remember the old mini ISOs. Write at me into the comments if I should make a video about the new mini.iso. So beside the Ubuntu mini.iso, let us head over to the basic information of Ubuntu. Here we see we have a Linux kernel 6.2, which is I think the latest one at the moment. We have the GNOME version 44 and Ubuntu 23.4 will get updates for nine months. On the top right corner in our system menu, we have a new and polished alignment. For example, if you select the power button here, we can select power off at the top. No, we can't select the big power off. We have to read everything and then have to select the small power off. For me, that is a big UX issue, which isn't well designed. I hope this will change until the next Ubuntu version. But besides that, the new system menu looks very clean. And if we have background apps running, it will display them right below these icons here. Also, let us come to the settings here. Ubuntu 23.4 will become updates for nine months. After that, you would have to upgrade to the Ubuntu version 23.10. So I don't recommend it to use it as a production system. So if you're using Ubuntu 22.4 LTS, stay on it and wait for the Ubuntu version 24.04, which will be the next big LTS version of Ubuntu. So let us stay in the settings. We have now an option to add WireGuard VPN, which is a new VPN since a few years. Until now, you have to 
do it by terminal gnome 44 which ubuntu is using now the community behind wireguard is now offering us the graphical version which is quite nice also if you are connected to a wi-fi or have wi-fi stored on your system then you can now generate a qr code that another person can scan it easily to connect to the underlying wi-fi which is a great feature and in my opinion ubuntu is stepping forward here with nice useful features let us head over to another nice useful feature for example our dock here on the left side for example if i open up my thunderbird mail and i'm becoming a mail complete randomly here we have it and now you'll see a small one here at the top of the icon which is displaying how many new messages we became you also see the message up here in the notification center if i close this notification then you see okay the one is going away but this feature isn't working with every app so i for example tried it with element or signal and in both cases it didn't work for me also a new nice feature is that firefox is opening very very fast i didn't do any cut you see it almost doesn't need a second which is amazing and the firefox on my debian 12 is starting a bit slower i very like this speed if we compare the speed to the one of one year ago it's a big improvement and let us come to the last feature i'm gonna present you if we have for example a file selection on a snap app or normal gnome app i um, can select the file upload here for example and you see here we have a new feature the grid view or the list view and the new grid view lets you display pictures in a bigger style and if we for example head over to our computer file system here usr share backgrounds then you see these pictures are displayed a bit bigger if we choose the list view then you can't see anything that's a great feature so yeah that was it for today i hope you found this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe to this youtube channel that encourages me every two weeks to make a new video for you i put you the link to ubuntu 23.4 in the video description and see you in the next video bye